if you're one of the millions of taxpayers that will wait to the last minute to file their taxes this year, you're not alone. But hey, the reality is the deadline is right around the corner, April 15th. H&R Block Senior Tax Advisor Andrew Wagner is here to tell us what we need to know about filing this year. So Andrew, what are some of the reasons that people wait and push it off to the very last minute? Well, you really just have two different types of people. You've got your people that are natural procrastinators, and they're just going to procrastinate at anything, no matter what it is in life. And then you have people that fear the process. They just fear doing their tax return. It scares them to death. Uh, a lot of times, people think they're going to owe. Uh, they just make that assumption. And so they say, screw it. I'm not going to actually file my tax return. Uh, so really, the most important thing is go to hrblock.com checklist, and you can print out a checklist and start filling out the boxes, checking off the boxes of all the documents that you may need to bring in, and just set the appointment to come in and have your taxes done. First off, someone else is doing it for you, so you're not actually doing the work, you're just bringing in the documents. But then also you might be surprised, maybe you wind up with a refund. Uh, the IRS has about 1.4 billion in unclaimed refunds just from 2015. So there's also 2016, 2017. So these are people that were due refunds but never actually filed their tax returns. So you could possibly be one of those persons. And if you do have a balance due, at least come in and just get the tax return filed. Right, yeah, and that fear of owing can kind of take over things and over the common sense part of you need to file your taxes. So what do you have for, as far as advice for people that um, need to do their taxes now and how they can avoid missing that deadline? Well, I think that, you know, just set the appointment to come in. That way you hold yourself accountable. If you just say, ah, I'm going to come in at some point, uh, you may never actually wind up doing it. You know, we, our offices have extra staff working at this time of the year, so someone's going to be able to help you. Uh, a lot of people are, are coming into the office earlier. A lot of tax professionals are coming in earlier to help people out. So you can still come in and not have to wait very long. And you can set the appointment. You can walk into an office and get it done. You could also use something called Tax Pro Go or Tax Pro Review, where you start the return from hrblock.com and upload it to a tax professional. That way you don't actually even have to leave your, your house. But if you do, if you're one of those persons that has a balance due, there's a 5% penalty on your balance due per month that you don't file. So even if you owe and you cannot pay your balance due, at least get the tax return filed. And then we can help you set up a payment plan to the IRS while we're doing your tax return. That way you can start making monthly payments and you don't have to come out of pocket to pay the IRS anything that day. Perfect. Now, Andrew, I know for me in the past couple of years, I've been nervous to do them just because, like you said, it's overwhelming and you're so afraid of making a mistake. So what are some of the common mistakes that people make when filing their taxes? Well, some of the common mistakes people make are credits for taxes paid to other states. So, uh, for example, if you live in Georgia, work in Mississippi, uh, maybe you have taxes paid to Mississippi and you're gonna, you can claim them on your Georgia tax return as a credit for taxes paid to another state. So people miss that quite a bit. Also, if you have a uh, dependent in college, sometimes people will not realize that they can claim that dependent. Uh, you can claim a, a kid in college up until they're 24 as long as they're a full-time student. Parents are often, you know, I don't want to claim my kid, they're out on their own. But you can miss out on quite a bit of money doing that. Um, and along those lines, we also see a lot of issues with education credits when people do their tax returns on their own. And people uh, may have paid tuition uh, for a bachelor's degree or a master's degree, and they're not claiming that tuition on their tax return as a credit. So credits for taxes paid to other states, uh, you know, incorrect filing status because you have a dependent in college, those are common. And then education credits are some of the biggest things we see. All right, thank you so much, Andrew, for all that great information. And you guys at home can check out our website, firstcoastliving.net, for some more information.